we were fans of Storms already. Um, uh, she had just come out with Invisible Man, I think, uh, around that time when we were writing. And so we were like really interested in, in, in that. And when, she, when we found out that she was interested, um, that, was, that was it for us. Nick, congratulations on upgrading from editing to <laughs> writing and directing. <laughs> how how did you and Will take to your new roles? What was that experience like? Well, we were really lucky um, and uh, and we're very grateful for our producers and for everyone at Sony for for trusting us with uh, a studio movie as our first as our first feature. Um, but I think I think it was kind of a weirdly natural progression for us because we were so involved in the cinematic language and developing that in the first movie. Um, so we brought a lot of that knowledge with us. Um, and uh, being editors, we also um, knew exactly the pieces that we wanted. Um, so I think that that helped a lot. And then, you know, we leaned on our, our incredible crew and our producers and, and Anish, who had gone through this whole thing uh, once before to, to help us along. Natalie, I love how both searching and missing kind of really rely on these parent-child dynamics, even with one half of that dynamic uh, gone, absent. Um, what did you want to excavate in terms of that relationship in searching, or sorry, in missing that you had not yet or fully explored in searching? In missing this time around, it's a daughter looking for um, their missing parent. And one thing that we all talked about uh, early on when we were developing the story was I think there's a turning point in everyone's life. You know, it happens at different times. For me, it was when I was a teenager when I realized, like, my parents are human beings outside of just being my parents. And so that was a theme that we couldn't tap into in the first one just by nature of who went missing. Um, so that was really fun to explore in this. It's like June's trying to figure out not only where her mom went, but really is discovering who her mom is. Um, and I think that was really, really fun to tap into. Storm is uh, so amazing to watch. She really, you know, carries that film all <laughs> the whole runtime. How did you decide on like what made her the perfect uh, June or June bug? When we were uh, setting out to make, you know, kind of the 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 next installment, we were like, man, so much of what made searching work was John Cho's incredible performance. How are we going to find a young? actress who can have that gravitas. And um, we were fans of Storms already. Um, uh, she had just come out with Invisible Man, I think, uh, around that time when we were writing. And so we were, like, really interested in, in that. And when, she, when we found out that she was interested, um, that was that was it for us. Um, she has such a maturity for such a young age. I think, I think she is um, one of the brightest young stars working in the film industry. So... Yeah, we, it was a no-brainer, and then we just built the cast around her. It was a very happy day when we got when we yes. when we were told we got to work with Storm. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, as I was watching, I I was thinking like, wow, I need to learn so much more about my computer and my phone because I would not be able to do most of these things. Uh, Natalie, did you feel like there was a big jump even between like 2018 and 2022 um, in terms of the technology? Oh yeah, huge jump. I mean, in the first film we see a fraction, I think, of the apps and, and the different formats that we see in this film. And because this story is told through the eyes of June, who's 18, who's Gen Z, um, and the first film was, you know, through the eyes of a boomer, <laughs> the difference in how many apps are used, like, throughout the day and just the fluency, um, that was really fun to explore. And it, I think it brought a whole level of energy and honestly, like, I would say cinematicness yeah. to this to this film. Um, so that was really, really fun to to have to play with. Absolutely. Well, you guys uh, did an amazing job. I adored the film and I don't even know what a third title would be, but I cannot wait for yet another uh, <laughs> absentee uh, person in our lives that we must find. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you, so you much. guys. Have a great day. You, you too. too.